Okay, Jeff here again. Welcome back to the second in our little cluster of videos looking at externalities. So if you're going to get questions on market failure and government intervention, clearly you want to be right on top of this. Let's spend a few minutes together thinking about negative consumption externalities. A quick reminder that externalities are spillover effects from the production and or the consumption, in this case, uh, of goods and services uh, for which no appropriate compensation is paid to one or more of those third parties that are impacted by it. Now, negative consumption externalities are defined as cost to third parties arising from people's buying and use of, use of goods and services. And the result is that the social marginal benefit curve is less than the private benefit because the consumption generates negative external benefits. Other people are badly affected. And there's loads of good examples. Often the example is choose these uh, carefully. So the particulates from vehicle pollution, for example, uh, the increasing e issue of household waste, including food waste, noise pollution from noisy neighbours, air pollution and uh, the impact of passive smoking from smoking, the consequences of traffic uh, congestion on our increasingly congested roads. Uh, one of the most topical ones is the impact of, uh, of gambling addiction on, on families, the stress and uh, the problems caused by that. Uh, consumption of, of particularly online gambling and fixed on betting terminals in betting shops. Consumption generates, I'm sure you've seen this during the pandemic and beyond, the, the litter left on beaches and waterways and parks. And also, of course, some of the issues to do with the external cost of uh, rising levels of obesity as we consume processed and fast, fat, fast foods. So let's work through the diagram. Cost and benefits on the y-axis, quantity and output on the x-axis. We're going to assume here there are no production externalities, so marginal private cost equals marginal social cost. There you have your downward sloping demand curve, the, the private benefit curve, but with negative consumption externalities, there is a negative external benefit. So MSB lies below MPB. And there's that gap at Q1, which is the private optimum, that's the negative external benefit, that vertical distance. Now, from society's point of view, we would prefer output to be lower or consumption to be, to be lower, where social cost meets social benefit. So Q2 is the social optimum, Q1 is the private optimum, and in this case, there's overconsumption of these products. Some economists call them demerit goods. Output is too high from a social welfare point of view. We'd actually want output to be lower and uh, a price that's lower to reflect uh, the, the impact on society. Put some letters on here, because we do want to show the deadweight welfare loss. Society with negative consumption goods is over-consuming these products. This leads to a misallocation of resources, causing a deadweight loss of social welfare, shown by the area A, B, C. Because beyond output Q2, as you move, for example, C to A and C to B, the marginal social cost is bigger than any marginal social benefit. So if we overconsume and end up at Q1, we, we, we cause a loss of social welfare. So there we go. That's a walkthrough, the negative consumption externalities diagram. Take care. See you soon.